back at it again. Hello, hello, with uh, Data East's Breakthrough. Now, let's talk about the name Breakthrough. That's a name that really doesn't tell you anything about the game that you're trying to play. What do you think of when you hear Breakthrough? Well, apparently, the enemy lines rescue your PK-430 aircraft. Wait, is that the enemy lines and then rescue your PK-430 aircraft? The enemy is holding 800 miles from here. That's a, that's a little questionable. I'm gonna question what they're going through. Fight your way through the mountains, watch for landmines. Okay, okay, I get that. So, so yeah, when you, when you think of the words breakthrough, Undoubtedly, this is what comes to your mind immediately, is a side-scrolling shooter where you play as a car. Or maybe you're a Humvee or a Jeep or something. Oh look, I didn't jump. What a mistake. WHAT A MISTAKE! Classic blunder. Alright. So we'll see just how much of, um... Just how much clownery is gonna go on in this game here. Will this be a decent Data East game, or will it uh, just be another one that kind of makes me uh, exhausted? Okay, well, you know, I, I gotta stop falling on the rubble, clearly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Watch for landmines and falling rocks. You made that very clear. Game might tell me, hey, if I've made it clear, then why do you keep running into the falling rocks, man? Let's say, you mind your own business? That's what you gotta do, you know. Slow down so they all land in approximately the same spot. Okay, so I guess clearly I had to gain speed and jump there. Which you might suspect. This game does have a continue option, so that's that's nice. Far be it from me to... Uh... Oh, and look at that. It actually continued me right here. That's a... Uh... Wow, you need a lot of speed there. Alright. It didn't just continue me at the front of the mountain, it continued me like part way through the mountain. So that's that's actually a very gracious continue function that they got there. There we go. Got enough speed that time. Alright, alright, alright. The enemies are beginning to fire back, you know, they're all getting a little tired of me. Barely made that. They're firing missiles down now. Okay. And, you know, if I were a betting man, I'd say that this is probably all the gameplay that you're really gonna get. It's just, you know, this and minor variations of this. I like how you get the objective every single time. <laughs> okay, it's not too hard to build up speed, ah, oh, but it's very easy to get shot. You got quite the hitbox on ya. So far, you know, compared to typical Data East Fair, it's... Uh, this ain't bad. You know, it's it, it's not quite as, uh, mind-numbing as, as a Borger time. Or is it? No, it's not. I, you know... Kind of got intercepted mid-air. Felt like maybe that was a uh, little uncalled for. But then again, I'm probably just whining. Make no mistake, that's a, uh, that's a very possible outcome here. Turbo button does not function in this game. Ah, yeah, yeah. Intercepted yet again by missiles. Okay. That's going to be a recurring theme, then. So be it. You know, it's just going to be one of those... One of those many, many games where it's all about memorizing everything that goes on around you. Okay, I caught whatever that was. But then you wonder, how do you avoid those missiles? I avoided them the first time. But now kind of banging my head up against the wall, as it were. Maybe just, like, going as fast as you can all the time is the better... 
policy. Well, nope, because then I got caught by the missiles again. Not a, not a massive fan of that, as you may suspect. You can definitely tell this was an arcade game. <laughs> it's like, hey kids, wanna die over and over and, you know, it'll take you twenty dollars and quarters before you're able to figure out what's uh, doing you dirty? There you go, there you go, you just gotta get, you gotta get low there. I, li I like the jump animation for this car too, it's- ah, Okay, got shot down. That's fine. We will continue to fight our way through the mountains. Hey! Nice! I don't know if we necessarily deserve a continue point right there, but... We got it. Okay, well that- that's not a pickup, that kills you. A generous game in terms of continues and checkpoints, but if it wasn't generous, it would be one of the most infuriating games of all time. <laughs> if it wasn't generous, it would be Akari Warriors. I'm having cold sweats about Akari Warriors. I know, it's been so long ago since I had to, uh, approach the horrors of Akari Warriors, but it's never really over, is it? Okay, well, that's the mountain, I guess. Break the enemy lines in the bridge area. Stay alert. Oh, is that why it's called Breakthrough? Because you're breaking through the enemy lines? Jump to destroyed areas of bridges. Watch for falling rocks. This game loves its falling rocks. Ah, yeah. oh, jeez. And you need the reflexes of a puma to get anything done. That is just straight up trial and error. That's the game telling you don't go on that side of the highway. Wait, unless I can jump the... Uh... Oh good, I can. That's good. Well, now I know. I don't know if I could jump the divider or not, but it appears that that is indeed in the cards. Ho 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 ho. Me oh my. You know, anybody <laughs> who memorizes this game enough to like beat it all in one go, you'll, you'll get the Congressional Medal of Honor from me. Because I'm absolutely in the place to give that award out, you know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. If this game didn't have the checkpoint system that it does, it would be absolutely appalling. Okay, yeah, you you wait for them to leave and then yeah, do a little hop away. And then... you die again. Oh, I didn't die! Not that. Ah, okay. <laughs> Everything is placed so inconveniently. What do we learn? We gotta take that slow. We gotta take that very slow. You wait for them to go back and then you jump. So, okay, watch this. Check this out, you know. Yeah. And then you just barely hop over the divider. They can maybe, maybe slow down at times. Oh, but go fast enough there to where you can at least make the jump. <laughs> that didn't work out for us either. I hope this harbors some form of amusement for you, because this is... This is, uh, brut brutality. This is one of those video games that potentially violates the Geneva Convention. I've seen a few of them before. It's the kind of game that if you're a parent, you're all like, Oh, you want a, you want a brand new PlayStation kid? Well then beat this old NES game. And then you're like, ha, now I never have to buy them the things they want. Joke's on you, kid. 
Now, with enough trial and error, this is a game anybody can beat, just due to the checkpoint system being the way it is. Well, you know, I should, I should have seen that coming, right? Got to end of the game, though. It's actually got uh, a narrative, as bare bones as it is. Nice. Got the tank. Ah, I should have dodged down, not attempted to go up. Short-sighted of me, what can I say? <laughs> oh, I thought for sure I was gonna eat it there. I was gonna say, please. Okay. Narrowly made that. I don't think I should have made that. Oh, come on, and then I landed right on the covered truck. At this point, I'm just kind of giving you a play-by-play, -play, because what else you say about this? This is... this is insanity. If I had to rate this as an arcade game where you're, like, paying by the credit, I'd say, don't ever put me in these shoes again. <laughs> um, I'm bankrupt. I just had to spend all of my life savings on trying to beat one stage of Breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, I get it. You can't skip them, you'll just wind up pausing. But, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I am not even remotely upset that I'm sitting here playing Breakthrough. Because even for the not great games of yesteryear, I enjoy seeing them, I enjoy experiencing them. Even if they're total- Oh, What was that? Torpedoes come from behind me? Oh well. Even if they're totally, like, unmitigated disasters, they still have that appeal to them. This helicopter has no appeal to me. Good grief. <laughs> like, am I better off just trying to uh, bypass it completely? We can try it. Yeah. Most, most definitely. Don't even bother trying to fight that helicopter, because it's not going to play nice. <laughs> Alright. Genuinely silly death right there. <laughs> 500 points. Nice. Even just trying to avoid it, though, is a lofty goal. Okay. Shoot like a madman, because things are going to start showing up. Not particularly deadly. Oh, they do shoot at you! So if you don't destroy them first, that could prove to be a pro ah, problem. Gotta love the one hit you can take. <laughs> okay, getting getting a little better at avoiding the terrors of the helicopter. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Seriously. Give this game a shot for yourself. You may think at this point you're like, Oh, look at that, he's just trying to die here for content. No, no, never. I will never attempt to make myself look, at, look any worse than I am. Believe me, I don't need any help. Looking, uh... Ah! <laughs> looking subpar. This is... this is a one-sided mission. You know, they all are. I mean, look at Commando. It's not like that was exactly a, uh, well-thought-out military operation. You want to jump to avoid the torpedoes, but when you keep jumping like that, you wind up just, um, 
not even being able to get enough speed to avoid the helicopter. It's a, uh, it's a vicious catch-22 is I guess what I'm trying to say. Maybe I should, uh, just mix up Catch-22 with other nonsensical, like, literary references. Like, oh, that's the real catcher in the rye, if you know what I'm saying. That's a major Great Gatsby. I never liked the Great Gatsby. I had to read it in high school English, and I did not care for it one bit. I then saw the old movie, not the not the newer Leonardo DiCaprio movie, but the, like the original Great Gatsby movie, and I didn't like it anymore. I just thought, what is the point of this story? I mean, I'm sure there is a point, and I'm just being anti-intellectual about it, but uh, it was nothing that appealed to me, that's for sure. And I think that that's a big issue that I think like modern English classes fall into is they push books that kids just are not interested in in any way as like required reading it's like yo you gotta like modernize at some point the notion that this is all great American literature I mean that's that's kind of a complete and total construct right we just arbitrarily decide this is great American literature but that doesn't, you know, it doesn't really mean anything. It's like, no one is going to be further back in life because they haven't read The Grapes of Wrath. I'll tell you that much. If you want, you want kids, middle school, high school, any age really, to appreciate reading, encourage them to read something that they're actually interested in. I'm not going to claim that I was ever a bookworm. I read a few books in high school, m m mostly for English class, but uh, the ones that always taught me the most were the ones that I actually had an interest in. Go figure. Really enjoyed The Count of Monte Cristo, for example. That was certainly not required reading. <laughs> not even remotely. But I chose to read that, and I'd... F Gosh, you'd think I'd learn by now. Uh, I chose to read that, and it wound up being one of the most fulfilling books that I read in high school. Meanwhile, uh, The Scarlet Letter, hated it. The Scarlet Letter is only re required reading because it's the most blunt, obvious example of symbolism ever. Like, The Scarlet Letter is what you make kids read when you don't want to have to actually explain nuance. <laughs> or uh, when you want to give an example of like symbolism, but you don't want to have to put any effort into it. You're like, well, here, I guess, see? There. It's like every other sentence is like, wow, what did they mean by that? And it's like, well, okay, a child could figure out what they meant by that. It's, it's the most bland form of symbolism that I can think of, where it's 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 shoved down your throat. Which, you know, I get it. If, oh, if you're teaching it, then you want a uh, easy-to-understand example. Okay, but... <laughs> Surely, there are examples that are understandable without being completely and totally brain-dead. And maybe some people will take offense to me trying to call out the Scarlet, the Scarlet Letter, a piece of brain-dead literature. It's not. Break the enemy lines in the prairie. Stay alert. Oh boy, a prairie level. Very exciting. Be ready to jump the pond while fighting the enemy. Hey, at least it's a change of scenery, although, man, this is an ugly color palette. It's very bright. What do these even do? Like, these are... I have no idea. Like, I feel like it's a trap. <laughs> Trying to go for those <laughs> will just make you worse off than you were. But no, yeah. Scarlet Letter is Babby's first symbolism. Same thing with Hemingway. People are always like, Oh, Ernest Hemingway perfected um, uh, simplicity like in writing. And I'm like, yo, but like, what makes that good? <laughs> Okay, it is, it is a power-up, but it is a timed power-up, so there's nothing that you can get too excited about. Like, Old Man in the Sea, that's another book. It's like, that appeals to <laughs> nobody. <laughs> it's 
There was a man, and he caught a fish, and the story was told in as plain English as possible. No flourish here. Which I guess, you know, is pretty much the total inverse of Moby Dick, which is a man caught a fish, and we are going to give you a practically encyclopedic explanation of how he caught the fish. And that one's up presenting its own problems entirely. But the difference is, I don't think I ever had a class where Moby Dick was required reading. Maybe they at least had enough foresight to understand that, hey, people ain't gonna want to read a detailed guide on whaling. <laughs> Heck, even one of the smartest girls in my class, she chose Moby Dick, uh, like for her book report, and I'm talking very, very bright girl. And uh, once, and <laughs> halfway through it, she was like, this just, it makes no sense. And by that, she didn't mean that it was a literally nonsensical publication of course but rather that you know it's it's so dry in its presentation I don't know why am I talking about uh, <laughs> literature I don't even like right now honestly too I distract myself from the pain of breakthrough I say again this is this is not a terrible game per se it functions but it's very obviously a game that was designed to be as obnoxious as possible. I've said that before in some uh, gaming discussions online and stuff. People are people will talk about old games versus new games. And I'm like, yeah, if you get old enough, though, you get games where the design choices are intentionally as obtuse and frustrating as possible, and that doesn't make for good game design necessarily. And then people are like, oh, look at you, you're a zoomer. How well? Not, not, not Gen Z, no. But uh, it's like people they don't they don't want to acknowledge that there's some truth in that, you know. Like t breakthrough, this game was not designed <laughs> with fairness in mind. Gosh. Again, you can brute force your way through this game. Anybody could eventually brute force their way through this game thanks to the continue system. I've said that a million times, but it bears repeating. Gosh. And it could just be that I'm bad. Make no mistake, I am not the kind of person who is going to wave that off as a possibility. Jeez. Like, even making it back to that dock is tough, and then when you do make it to the dock, then you gotta wait for the missiles to drop, wait for the fires from the missiles to be put out, and hope you don't get shot by the bunker, and it's a whole thing, you know? Which, of course, the appeal of that kind of uh, chaos is that, you know, you're put in the position where you, the player, have to strategize how you're going to make it past! I jumped too fast and too far, and then I wasn't able to jump again, so that's... That's possibly the most frustrating way that you could have botched that. You know? It's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess, as they would say in, uh, Bruce Almighty. <laughs> Talk about a movie totally forgotten by time. It's like what most of our like required reading should be is gosh, not enough speed. Uh, forgotten by time. At least stuff like Lord of the Flies had an interesting premise, you know. Well, come to think of it, I think that Lord of the Flies may have been the one book. No. It wasn't. I'm still thinking of the Scarlet Letter. <laughs> I typically did read the books I had to read, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I sparknotesed the hell out of the Scarlet Letter. <laughs> I read a couple chapters and I was like, well, that's enough of this nonsense. What? Are you joking me right now? <laughs> I don't know how to do it, man. I take back what I said about the game being functional. No, no, it's still technically functioning, you know, I just haven't hit that perfect... 
that perfect spot. Yeah. See, this is this is gonna get you. It's gonna get you good. I'm so distressed that I'm out of reasonable sentences to tell you now. I've I've exhausted my entire vocabulary, which is pretty embarrassing if I was able to do that in such a short amount of time. Oh, crash right into the rubble that you yourself created. You know, like, I feel like I'm at the cusp of something great, and then that happens. As if to tell me, no, you're not. Don't get cocky. Really, you know, I'm kind of banking on this channel gaining traction by just, like, being one of the only people who plays some obscure NES game later on. And then people who look up that NES game see this video, because it'll be the only thing there. Like, they'll be like, oh... What's this game? Bandit Kings of Ancient China? And then there'll be a... garbage video of me playing it for an hour and not understanding a thing about it, and then they'll say, huh, interesting. That video sucked. <laughs> and that's how it all ends. Okay, we made oh, it! I knew it! I knew it! That was fated to happen. There was no way I was making it <laughs> any further after that second jump. You know, the progress has got to be painfully incremental. Can't just have one, oh, how do I put it, breakthrough. Yeah, 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 you pick the low ground, you jump the fence, there you go, oh, and there's another helicopter. But, look at that, our arrow moved, we're closer. We're closer to the end of the prairie. Yeah, 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 you just speed your way past the helicopters. Because you don't want anything to do with them. And then you jump over the trucks, and there you go, prairie done. When I said progress has got to be incremental, I actually meant, yeah, you gotta just beat the entire game in one go. You are almost to the airfield. Keep fighting. We are almost to the airfield. Could we possibly beat this game in an hour? Oh, man. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a power-up, but I, th um, I feel like going for the power-up is just going to get me killed. Okay, good, good, very good. Not so bad! Not so terrible! Look at this. Going for that power-up was certainly a positive. You just, just mash that button now. You know, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to die now and feel like a real goon. Okay, I, I, I figured I'd eventually die, but that was surprisingly smooth, may I say, for a sight read of the city. Now I'll we'll have to progress without the power-up, but, eh, you know. It's fine. <laughs> I think that was a good, good, uh, choice to jump there. Okay. The infantry, you know? Uh, this game's got some pretty deadly infantry in it. They're small shots, and they're just as deadly as any other object trying to shoot at you. Really? The city's the easiest thing ever. PK430 in the next area. Recover it and fly back. Good luck. Yeah, you know that. The city is no problem at all. Jump the walls and find the aircraft. Fly back home. I think the bridge was probably the most difficult area so far. Which who knows? This this could prove to be a true problem. We'll see though. 
this will either be the most difficult part of the game or the, uh, a total anti-climax. Or it'll all just be a sign that uh, I achieved equilibrium and I understand this game at a uh, fundamental level now. Oh, I wouldn't, you know, dream of implying that that happened. <laughs> it's okay, just just keep shooting. No, no one to go fast, no one to go slow. No, that it's okay to jump some times! Okay. And don't worry yourself. I mean, you get a very occasional snag like that, because you'll get as many tries as you need. Look at that high score right now. That's far beyond anything that we've come close to in the past. Yep, yep, yep. You destroy that, so you got yourself a nice little path to go through. Well, that one's that one's just gonna have to, you know, kind of exist. Yeah, this, you know, the airport. I was expecting this to be the absolute most brutal stage ever, but this is so far going pretty clean as well. Now, when they said fly back, a little worried that it'll be like, yeah, now play through the entire game backwards. <laughs> Ooh, okay, made it past that helicopter. We should be able to make it past this one as well. Yeah, okay. Died again, but that's okay. This progress is insane, man. 44,000 dollary dues for points. Yeah, you, you just stay at the bottom of the screen and you just go full speed. That seems to be the only way to reasonably handle the helicopters. Because they're jerks otherwise! Oh, okay. Finally a game over, but hey, you know... <laughs> let's just pick up right where we left off. Who cares about a game over? Yeah, so we lost our points. Points... Points are for nerds. Is this just going to be one of those odd areas where it doesn't even look like that difficult on paper, but I just cannot for the life of me figure it out? Uh, it does happen sometimes. Well, no, because I made it past right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the tanks, they're all for show. This is definitely a game where high score chasing will be hard. Congratulations, through your bravery, you have recovered the stolen aircraft. Is that it? Is that the game? Oh! Are we in the aircraft now? Is this actual gameplay? Or is this just like an ending crawl? There we are! We're getting into it! Goodbye, car! And look at us, we're taking off. Just... Just appreciate that uh, clearly very triumphant music. I don't even think this is gameplay, I think that... I think that you're just watching the end. Well, um, that was anticlimactic in a way. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then you just loop over back at the beginning. Okay, well, I mean, we got time, so we're gonna keep playing the game, but it's... <laughs> that, not counting sports games, this is the first game that we have uh, beaten within the allotted 60 minutes. So look at that, here I was being all like, oh, it's a really hard game, and then it's like, no, it turns out it's uh, the easiest game of all time, actually. Now again, if you're trying to go for a, a high score, well then, you might find yourself in a bit of a pickle. 
Because the game's got a lot of uh, absolute bullshit like that that it will put you through. Well, you know, I, I hope you like watching Breakthrough twice. Because <laughs> that's, uh, that's all this is. And yeah, uh, that, that keeps you on the same life too, so... Theoretically, you could just keep looping and looping and looping through this game, and if you have everything memorized and uh, you know how to get past every level without dying, yeah, you could rack up uh, some uh, major pointerinos. Which is, of course, at its core, the appeal of an arcade game. Yeah, 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 I, I remember. Go low there. Took me a second to uh, remember, and I nearly botched it again, but you know. Well, I, I did botch it the first time when I got a quick little game over. Ooh, that's right, the flamethrower cards. Don't, uh. Don't ignore them. Try to get greedy by destroying that. I did destroy it, and I got the points, but then I died. Always helpful when the vehicles show their projectiles before they're even on screen, you know, gives me a brief moment of respite to realign myself and shoot properly. Well, it made it past the mountain way quicker than I did previously. So we've clearly learned something. The bridge, however. The bridge is still probably the hardest area. Prairie second. I think it goes bridge, prairie, mountain. Mm. Bridge, Prairie, Airport, Mountain City. If I had to... If I had to rank them, you know, create a uh, breakthrough... <laughs> breakthrough difficulty tier list. The bridge is uh, still an enemy of humanity. Although we'll see, maybe I'll get through it considerably easier this time. I'm still gonna game over at least once. I hope, I hope you're aware of that. And that, see, that's that's how you make it through there. Don't try to don't try to be a hero. Going slow seems to be the answer a lot of the time. And then you get caught by a stray bullet, and all of your hard work is down the drain. So yeah, uh, very productive episode, I would say. You know, uh, the rest of this is pretty much just bonus footage, you know? <laughs> it's like if you close that video, once I beat the game, well, hey, I wouldn't blame you at all. And now that you have closed the video and are no longer watching it, I would of course encourage you to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. If you do not enjoy the content, then don't subscribe because uh, well, that would be a goofy thing for you to do. It'd be to uh, be notified of content that you dislike. Behold me, the only person who will encourage you to not support me. <laughs> That's a joke. But sincerely, even just watching a video is more than I can ask for from you. Taking, especially if you're one of the absolute madmen who watches an entire video of this, taking a full 60 minutes out of your day to appreciate uh, some NES classics. Bold move. Bold, bold move indeed. Oh, come on. I, I thought I may have maybe gotten my way over the railing there, but does not appear to be so. Yeah, I, I've still got a lot to learn about the bridge. I, I still kind of bumble my way through this one. That's the sweet spot there. If, you, if you're right there on that uh, Y axis, the tanks can't do anything to you. I just did, you know, I just chose to not apply that knowledge for the second tank because <laughs> consistency is boring. Just like that, yeah, stay far enough away, can't even hit you. You know, I always let myself get a little uh, intimidated by the infantry 
sitting there as well, as if there's anything that they can actually do. They shoot one direction and that's forward. Don't 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 get so concerned, man. Goodbye, helicopter. Now we get this portion, which has been known to give me grief. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 because of that. That V spread. It's it's a tight enough spread to where they can still get you if you're mostly in front of them, and that makes it Well, as you might imagine, difficult. Yeah. I... Nope. Not yep. <laughs> I said yep as if I had, uh, you know, pieced together all the pieces of the puzzle with that uh, helicopter, and then, you know, I just kind of fell flat on my face and said, you know, I don't actually know what I'm doing. That's <sighs> the way she goes, isn't it? Nah, this is what I expected, you know, the bri bridges. This is the choke point. This is this is where they got all of the money with this cabinet. <laughs> you can tell. Oh, no, 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 no. I dodged right into it. Which, you know, I guess saying dodged into it doesn't make sense because dodge is specifically when you don't get hit. But people always tend to say, oh, you dodged right into it anyway. Well, there I, there I just kind of, you know, yeeted myself out of existence, decided that jumping off a bridge would be a better fate than trying to avoid the this helicopter once more. I still don't know if the helicopters can even be destroyed, and I quietly don't... I, I quietly... I quite frankly don't think it's worth even testing, because, you know, there's, there's just kind of a uh, massive pain in the ass. There you go. That's what it takes. And then you just go very slow in this tunnel. Yeah, 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 because then you can stay away from their spread of death. Okay, that is a little... Uh, I say, that is a little bit of knowledge to carry with you there, but then, you know, the double stack happens and, well, it's all over for you. Sometimes that bullet is there to hit me, and sometimes it's not. I don't like uh, the inconsistency of that. It's not the game's fault, you know. It's trying its best. Said it before. Said it all before. I'll say it once again. Any example of being garbage is generally my own fault. We have some games where that's not going to be the case anymore. <laughs> Coming up very soon. You know, Cle clearly that's not working. I think I think I know kind of more what the preferred pattern is for dodging that here. I think you got to start up here. Yeah, let them drop that. And then, nope, that's not. That makes no difference. See what that one bullet, that one bullet going at about five o'clock there. It completely changes the game. I don't know what I tried, but I tried it. I might even be doing worse... <laughs> ...on this second attempt than I did on any first attempt. At least on the bridge. The mountain, obviously, was considerably better. Man. This could very well be another one of those... Uh, scenarios where you at home have noticed the pattern and you are screaming at your monitor saying why do you keep doing that it's clear that that doesn't work and see that time the bullet didn't go off I'm like what what was the secret sauce that made that plausible <laughs> uh, yeah this is definitely the most brutal single segment of the game at least It, the bullet went off, but I was able to somehow avoid it. I could have sworn that I was going to slow myself down, and that would be the only reason that I would hit it, but fortunately, no.
Oh, I was so fortunate that they just decided to not shoot until I was past them. That was a gift. I was gifted that escape. <laughs> Threaded one needle and then just decided to get wrecked by the other one. Fortunately, I made it just far enough to hit a pretty sweet looking um, checkpoint area, and then that happens. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, maybe I should go back to talking about literature. But, well, I, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm not qualified enough, you know, like I said, I'm no bookworm. I couldn't tell you what all the best books of the year are, like what the, what the modern classics should be. If high school me was asked that question, I would say, Icewind Dale Trilogy by R.A. Salvatore, man. That's primo writing. <laughs> Which obviously is, you know, probably not true. Salvatore makes some very, very fun fantasy books. With, uh, some good world building and fun background characters and all of that here. But if you're going to talk about uh, technically proficient writing, it's probably not up there. Likely superior to any Gary Gygax works. But we're not exactly, you know, setting the highest bar there when we start bringing Gygax into it. We got <coughs> Pardon me. We gotta thank Gary Gygax for his uh, brilliant invention of Dungeons and Dragons. <coughs> but that does not mean he was the most compelling author of all time. I know. How dare I? <coughs> Goodness! I swallowed something wrong. I'm not even eating anything, so I don't know how that happened. Y'all get it, though. It happens. We're all humans here. Hello, fellow humans. Not a robot, by the way. The power-ups are really kind of a pain to collect. They're always placed in those very inconvenient spots. Ooh, he almost got me! Okay. I know. I know I'm being quiet. Sorry that I'm giving you a few brief moments of reprieve from my incoherent babbling. That doc, every time. This is the second worst part of the game. <laughs> and I don't mean worse is in poor quality, I mean worse is in most difficult to hurdle. And I was a hurdler in high school. That's actually not a lie either. I was not good. I didn't you know, have any accolades or anything for my hurdling and track and field, but, uh... I did at least do it. Place last pretty much every time, but hey, you know, everyone needs that benchmark. <laughs> of the guy... to beat. <laughs> I was that benchmark, it's like, if you don't go faster than him, then... Boy, you got yourself a problem. There was one other guy in my school who was just about as slow as me, and that was about the only competition <laughs> that there really was, was who's gonna get last, me or him? And of course, we never got salty about that, it was always a very uh, friendly competition. I was congratulated each other for not for not placing last, if, if one of us did not place last. Gosh! Like, that's a frame-perfect jump there, and it's just, it's just not, uh, it's not functioning properly. Well, it's functioning as intended, I'm just landing wrong or, you know, not jumping early enough to give myself ample room. Make no mistake, I don't blame the game for this. Although, you know, it would be nice if it gave you a few more pixels on that right side there to, uh, get yourself through. Yeah, you go down, not up. There we go. And, uh, if I recall, this ain't exactly easy street from this point, but... It is a notable sh shift in the power dynamic here. 
Okay, well, you know. I'll just eat it again. I don't know if I'll be able to get two full loops through this game, but... We'll go as far as we can. Because we must. It's my job. My volunteer job. <laughs> Break the enemy line in the city, sailor. Yeah, yeah, we've been through the city. We know that the city is nothing too complicated. Hopefully I can, you know, make it look easy again so that I don't just eat my words because it would be the most me thing in the world to go through it a second time and then just get absolutely creamed and dominated by everything in my path. What did I get caught up on there? I don't know, but I survived it. Like, have I just found the god spot? Is this where you just drive when you want to avoid? Oh, nope, never mind. It's It slipped me right off onto the side. <laughs> I don't count that as a, as a legitimate death, by the way. That was me getting cute and trying to uh, find the secret sauce. Although, you know, it's probably just easier to shoot everything on the road. Ooh, there we go. And now we got ourselves the spreader, you know. Name one shoot 'em up game where the spreader is not the most godlike thing on the planet. You can't. It's a consistent rule of nature. You give a man a spreader, he'll eat for a day. You teach a man to spreader, he'll kill everything in sight. Well, I thought that that was something that I could have grabbed, but, you know, again, I've already told you, the power-ups are a bit of a pain to collect. And there you go. Going all the way to the airport, so if I can beat the airport in the next seven minutes, that'll be two full loops. I'm, I'm glad I was able to again prove that the city is not a big deal. It's kind of odd how easy it is, honestly. Considering how difficult the prairie and the bridge are. That seems like uh, a little mismatch in the game design there. Like it feels, yeah. Like it feels like you know the bridge and the prairie are full of um, goofy ass platforming challenges that make you want to rip your eyes out. But then you get to a little more just kind of pure shooting in the city and the airfield, and that makes it notably simpler. I don't know. Maybe there's some people out there who think that uh, pfft, the city is the most difficult part of the game. I can't fathom why that would be, but, you know, people are strange. We all find different tasks difficult and for different reasons. Ah, uh, okay, I got sniped there. I got sniped. And by sniped, I mean, you know, pretty much just kind of point blank railed into. Virtually the same thing. We're not gonna worry about it. We're probably gonna game over again. It don't matter to me much. <laughs> I tried to shoot the landmine and just wound up kind of uh, gently driving myself right into it. So yeah, that uh, that 44,000 that we got at one point, or was that 440,000? I don't remember what the decimal was. Yeah, it was 44,000. We're not we're not gonna beat that, obviously. That's just that's completely off the off the table now. Yeah, let's try taking the low road here, because the high road has been treating us badly. What a poor moral lesson that is. Life hard? Just give everyone else the short end of the stick. Take the low road. I'm aware of what the goal is here, Breakthrough. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just uh, not equipped to successfully execute it. You could argue that I've been, in a way, successful at one point.
Alright. So far, so decent. I know. Quiet again. But you know, I, I felt... I felt the power within me, and I thought, well, time to uh, time to shut up and uh, put some just good raw gameplay. Maybe someone will uh, boost my footage here for uh, one of their videos later. Doubtful. I am so lazy, by the way, when it comes to like capturing footage and stuff. To where like if I can't, em to where like if I can't emulate it, I don't want to bother digging out my capture card and doing it the old-fashioned way myself. I'm, I'm, I'm trash, man. I even own a capture card, but I'm like, ah, but my computer's in a different area than on my consoles, and I don't want to move a console. It's, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a mild hassle. And really, who wants to deal with mild hassles like that? Did I put the airport above the mountain? Because if I didn't, I change it to being slightly above the mountain. Look at this. I'm kind of under the gun, you know. I want to... I want to finish this final loop here. Final loop, yeah. Yeah. You can loop this game forever, probably. I have no proof. No. Oh, there you go. Nope, I did it. I could have sworn there were a couple helicopters in that portion there, but I suppose not. That's pretty much the end of the video. I mean, you know, it'll take a solid minute for this loop to end, and then it'll be at 58 minutes, and you know, we're not gonna worry about it too much. That's... Not only did we beat the game, but we actually beat the game twice in one video. Yeah, we used a hell of a lot of continues, and we died a hell of a lot, but that second run was definitely quicker than the first run. Not by... a super impressive margin, but quicker nonetheless. And that's that's what we have to kind of set the tone for November 1987. Now, if we had a light gun, and a way to properly use it and all that, the next game would have been Gotcha! The Sport, published by LJN, developed by Atlas. But instead, uh, we're going to skip that because of our lack of light gun capabilities, and we're going to go directly into... Another LJN published title, developed by Escape slash Westone. Westone? We Stone? West One? I have no idea how that's supposed to be pronounced. I'll just call it Escape. It is Jaws. Now, uh, Jaws is a complicated little title because uh, it's another one of those where it gets a really, really bad reputation, but I'm really not sure if it's as bad as people say it is. So, you know, it's got that kind of questionable stuff going on with it. Anyway, I'm definitely not... I'm not going to bother playing two more minutes of the mountain, because you've, you've, you've seen enough. You've seen enough breakthrough. We're through with it. <laughs> we broke through breakthrough, if you know what I'm saying here. So, yeah. By all means, join me tomorrow for Jaws. It will no doubt be a, uh, a Jawsome episode. <laughs> you can unsubscribe for that, by the way. I won't be upset. And yeah, then we'll just plow through the rest of November with its, you know, I don't even know what to say about this uneven lineup. Sure, that seems like a friendly way of saying it. Either way, thank you for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.